Today I will be building the biggest house on my deed so far, all so that I can have a place to sew, knit, and make rope. So stay tuned for this episode of my Worm Online Iron Man Saga. I start by clearing and terraforming the area east to my training grounds. I started with the plan to make another 2x3 tile building for this project, but quickly changed that plan to a 3x3 tile two-story building. I had to ease up the slope in the area, because I want to plant cotton and wemp here. The steepest slope you can use for a farm is 8 in one direction, so that is what I used. Also, I took time to build access to the tin mine I have on the north side of this area. I tried to get as much farming space here as I could, although keeping in mind that I am the only person who will be managing my entire deed. Some people enjoy logging into the game to farm for a few hours and log off. I do not. Next, if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you enjoy my content. After getting the ground sloped how I need it, I had to clear out some of the grass that grew back over time while I worked on the project. Quick tip, if you ever need to clear out an area to plant for a farm, cultivate will do the trick, but only one tile at a time. If you dig a corner and drop the dirt back down, this will make the four tiles connected to that corner all turn to dirt, which can save lots of time depending on your project. I paved the building section with gravel, then keeping with the same style as all other roads on my deed, I paved the pathway with rough cobblestone which is created using Colossus bricks. I believe I mentioned this before, but I want to line the road throughout my deed with pottery brick fence walls, as I believe the red color will stand out and look great against the rough cobblestone pathways. Before starting the build, I planned the house using both the housing calculator to check skill level requirements and the deed planner 3 tool. The deed planner tool gave me the exact materials list I would need to complete the house, although it does not account for building temporary floors if you will be removing them creating larger ceiling areas in your house. I gathered all the materials necessary for the build and placed them in a BSB and crate for easy access. Building the first floor was simple enough. I planned and built the walls as you typically would. Having easy accessible materials to build your house makes it feel much faster than if you build until you run out. Anything that makes you feel like you're saving time is a definite plus. Spider attack. But at this point I am doing pretty well with my fighting skill and two-handed sword skill, so I can pretty easily dispatch the spider. Also having lots of cotton on hand, helps to first aid any wounds I get. I realize that the build is hard to see on video in the dark, so I fixed that by planting some lamps outside the house. At this point off camera, I made a mistake and built a wide staircase inside the house. This was a mistake because I put the wide staircase next to a wall, making it impossible for me to build an outer wall on that same tile on the second floor. I destroyed the staircase and put ladders on all the remaining tiles which I did not want to be floors. Wooden openings are the best to use for temporary floors while you complete a house because they are cheap to make and quick to destroy. After the temporary floor was in, I was able to plan and build the remaining walls and roof to my new house. My camera alt was attacked by a hellhound during this section and nearly died, but luckily noticed in time to kill it. Typically a hellhound would be a little harder than a spider. However, I got my sword enchanted with life touch at the Cadence Impalong just before this. Life Touch is an enchantment cast on weapons by Priests of Foe. It makes it so you drain life from the enemy you are attacking, which increases your survivability. The bottom line is, if you are new and can make it to an Impalong event, it is very much worth it. Finally, with the roof done, I head inside to destroy the temporary ladders.
I finished the flooring, created high rope fences for railing, crafted a loom, and placed my rope tool 